Hey there, it's Sydney with Tasty Frugal. Today's project is my absolute favorite gift to make for baby showers. We are going to be making customized milestone baby blankets. Now, not only are we gonna make the blanket, but we're also going to be making a coordinating birth, uh, stat, or birth month marker. So that way, when mom and dad are taking pictures of the baby, they have a coordinated marker to go on the month that the baby however old the baby is so most projects that I share I like to make it them so you can do them with any Cricut machine however this is going to be a Cricut maker exclusive project because we are going to be using the knife blade with chipboard to make this marker now if you didn't want to make the marker and you just wanted to make the blanket you can totally do this with any Cricut machine or any cutting machine but if you want to make the coordinating marker you are going to need um, chipboard and the knife blade so let's go ahead and talk about the other materials we're going to use and we'll get started Let's talk about the supplies you'll need. You'll want a blanket, obviously. I'm using a muslin blanket. You can use this or a cotton blanket. They have a ton of them on Amazon. Just make sure it's at least 48 by 48 inches wide. Then you'll need some heat resistant tape to keep the HTV attached to the blanket as we move it around. The heavy chipboard we're going to be using to make the birth stat marker. And then we're going to be using coordinating a uh, patterned HTV and patterned vinyl. For the HTV, you do need a heat resistant mask or the heat transfer mask. And then we are going to use Starcraft Soft Flex. You also need a standard grip mat in both 12 by 12 and 12 by 24. And then we're going to be using the Cricut heat press. Let's head to design space here. I am linking this uh, design space canvas in the description of this video so that you can edit it. You can change the name. Um, if you want to change months to weeks or whatever you want to change, you can totally edit this and all the fonts are in design space. You can use your own fonts, but this is ready to go. Um, but this black circle here is the circle for the chipboard. We're going to change this to orange so that we know what it is on the mat. This purple one is for the pattern vinyl that we're going to be using. Um, and then the months and Colin are going to be patterned HTV. But let me show you um, what I like to do with the uh, months to make sure, uh, just to make it easier when you're lining them up. But you wanna select the rows, each row individually, and click align and then center vertically. Once you have all four rows centered vertically, then you're gonna select the rows horizontally and click center horizontally. This way all of the numbers are centered and it's a lot easier to line them up. Once we have everything centered, we are going to go back and we are going to select each row. So we'll select the one, two, three, and we're going to click attach. We'll do the same thing with the four, the five, and the six, and then the seven, the eight, and the nine, and lastly the 10, 11, and 12. That way we're only having to line up four pieces of HTV instead of 12. But once we have everything attached how we like it, we'll go ahead and click make it in the top right corner. And then if you're using a Maker 3, Explore 3, or Joy, you'll select on that. If you're using a Maker or Explorer, just skip that step. Um, and you'll see here for whatever reason, it has Colin um, vertical. Now I know that it is sized so that it should fit on the mat horizontally. So you just go ahead and you're just gonna click that turn arrow until the square around it goes white and then just move it up to the top and then move the word months up to the top as well. The next mat, because this mat was 12 by 12 or 12 by 24, we're gonna change the size to 12 by 19 but all of the mats for whatever reason, now with the design space update, um, default to whatever the first one is. So we're just gonna change the rest of the mats to 12 by 12 if they need be. This one, because we are um, using the uh, full roll, uh, we're not using a full roll, but we have the roll of HTV, we can leave it larger, but we're gonna change the last one to 12 by 12. Now with patterned HTV, you don't mirror it. So you don't need to mirror this one. The only mat we're going to mirror is the third mat with the soft flex HTV. So click mirror on that. The rest of them you do not want to mirror. On this next screen, we it, this is where we'll select our material. I found that everyday iron-on works great for the patterned uh, HTV. So we'll just click everyday iron-on um, and let's go ahead and cut our materials down to size. I've mentioned this before, but I absolutely love this Cricut paper trimmer because it has the ruler that extends out and it makes it really easy to cut 
larger pieces of uh, vinyl, of paper, of HGV. It works on a ton of different materials. But you'll just load your material in from the right, put the ruler down, and then just slide the cutter. I always do the smaller side first so that I have a, lar a larger, large piece, if that makes sense. So I'm not wasting as much material. Uh, but we'll just cut our two pieces down to size and then we will load them on our mat. Both your patterned HTV and your patterned vinyl get loaded on the mat with your patterned side up. So these, uh, both the HTV and the vinyl are be patterned side up. And then I like to use a brayer if it's an older mat, just to make sure that my material is stuck down to the mat really well. Um, if you have a mat that you've used a while and it's lost some of its stickiness, you might want to use the brayer just to make sure that your material doesn't move um, while it's being cut. But we're just going to go ahead and cut our vinyl and our patterned um, HT or patterned HTV and our patterned vinyl first, and then we are going to use the 12 by 24 mat and we are going to line up our soft flex. Make sure that you are doing it shiny side down. And then once you have it on the mat, I like to use a rotary tool to cut my material down to size on the mat. It just makes it easier and it only cuts through the um, HTV on the mat. You don't have to worry about it cutting through the mat. I will use, so this is our rotary cutter. I will use a brayer again here. So you see how I have some creases and some bubbles. The brayer actually helps get those bubbles out. Um, if you have that. So the brayer is a really great tool to have as well for multiple different um, purposes. Then you'll just load your mat into your Cricut machine. Make sure um, that you have your setting set to the everyday iron on for the soft flex as well. And we will just cut out our soft flex HTV. Last but not least, we are going to cut out our uh, chipboard. We're going to use the knife blade with the Cricut Maker. So this is a project that you do need a maker or a maker three, four. When you're attaching your chipboard to your mat, first of all, make sure you're using a strong grip mat. And again, I will use the brayer to put the uh, chipboard on there so it's on there tight. Next, I use a painter's tape just to add a little bit extra grip. We're gonna do anywhere from seven to 24 passes when you're working with chipboard. So you do not want your chipboard to move at all. So put painter's tape around all four edges. Once you have the painter's tape on um, your chipboard, on your mat, you're ready to load it into your machine. Uh, like I mentioned, we're using the knife blade here. So you're just going to load that into the B clamp Make sure you select the heavy chipboard two millimeter in the material setting. And before you load your mat, move these star wheels over. If you don't move them over, it can, um, they'll leave imprints in the chipboard and it'll ruin your project. So load your material in and then just wait for the Cricut to start cutting. It took about seven minutes for mine to cut, but I recommend checking um, your, so pausing your project, you'll see here in just a second, after about seven passes or about halfway through your project, just to double check to see if um, it's cut all the way through. So Cricut recommended this cut 24 passes. And I think I checked this at pass 12 or 13. Um, and I'll show you here that it did cut all the way through. Make sure when you're peeling back that painter's tape, if it, uh, catches on the chipboard, don't pull that up because it will pull up the hall of the chipboard, which is not good. Um, but if it looks like it's cut all the way through, just go ahead and unload your mat and then you can just peel your um, design off of the chipboard. This is a really quick and a really good um, uh, beginner knife blade project because it's really simple. If you do have any of the painter's tape left on your design, just go ahead and peel it off um, it doesn't affect your design at all. So once we have everything cut, let's go ahead and make our marker. I'm not going to weed away the patterned vinyl because it's a circle and all I have to do is just peel that off and I'm just going to line it up on my chipboard and slowly make my way around the chipboard, just pressing it down as I go. So you'll want to um, do this slow. I have this sped up a bit, but take your time just pressing it through if you have any wrinkles. Um, the pattern vinyl is really easy to work with. Um, 
and there we have our marker. So when you're taking pictures, you can say it'll show what month or how many months old the baby is. Next, we're gonna just weed away our uh, excess vinyl for the name and for the months. Get those center pieces out. And then we're going to attach that heat transfer mask to our design. We'll just size it, um, cut out a the piece of heat transfer mask the same size as we need it and then just peel away the backer on that just like you would with transfer tape with vinyl it's basically the same thing it's just heat transfer mask with htv and then we'll just cut it in half i am not going to remove the backer yet i'm going to wait until i have everything lined up on my mat uh, last but not least go ahead and just weed away the um, vinyl for your uh, numbers. I like to keep it all in one piece. And then once I have everything weeded away, then I'll go ahead and I'll cut down each row individually. I find it's just easier to uh, weed things away that way, that way for me. But if you wanted to cut these pieces individually, like I'm doing right now, before you weed away, weed everything away, you can do that too. Next, let's go ahead and preheat our easy press. We are going to preheat at 285 for 15 seconds. 285 is a recommended heat setting for both easy press or uh, both soft flex and the patterned HTV. So use a lint roller to clean off your blanket, and then you're going to want to preheat your blanket. If your easy press isn't um, up to heat yet, that's totally fine. We're just removing the um, moisture from the blanket. But then we are going to uh, remove the backer that comes with the patterned HTV, line up your um, name on the top left corner of the blanket. And then once your easy press reaches temperature, go ahead and press it with medium pressure for 15 seconds. You'll then want to flip the blanket over and press again for 10 seconds. We're gonna let that cool, um, patterned HTV is a cool peel. So we're gonna let that cool while we line up the rest of them, uh, the rest of the numbers and the word months. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to preheat the entire right side of the blanket. Um, that way it removes some moisture from the whole side um, and then we will line up our numbers. But once we have everything um, preheated, go ahead and pre-cut uh, several pieces of the heat transfer mask. We are going to line up our uh, numbers and then tape them down with heat transfer mask. And I found with these blankets that are 48 by 48 inches, if you if you space your numbers, the lines, about four inches um, apart from each other, it takes up the perfect spacing um, to fill the majority of the blanket, um, but then still have room for the months at the end. And there's also, you're not going to be covering any of the numbers with the uh, marker, which I'll show you in just a second, like I have right here and then you'll make sure that it's not covered with months as well. But once you have everything spaced out how you like it, then just move the blanket up top. This is where that heat uh, resistant tape comes in handy. When you tape those numbers down, they don't move. So we're pressing at 285 for 15 seconds. Um, Soft flex is a warm peel, so you can just peel that backer off right after you press it. Um, and then we're gonna do the same thing. I do always double check um, when I'm measuring to make sure that the numbers are lined up. Um, I check on both ends, um, all the numbers to make sure that it's not sideways, to make sure they're four inches apart um, from the top of all the numbers. So we're gonna do that for um, the, the four rows of numbers. Once you have your uh, last row, that 10, 11, and 12, I know it looks like it's shifted here. It's just because the blanket shifted. 10, 11, and 12 um, is, I'll show you at the end, but it's, you can see right here, it's even. Um, and then you'll just go ahead and press the months for the 15 seconds. Make sure that your uh, easy press is not touching the numbers or it can burn them and that will ruin the HTV. Um, but once you've pressed that, go ahead and let the months cool. While we're doing that, we're just going to peel away that heat uh, transfer mask on Colin and I can show you how fun this patterned HTV is. I've linked this in the description of the video um, and I've linked all the products that we've that we've used in this project in the description of this video as well so that you can um, easily uh, find those to uh, purchase. But I really love this color. It's uh, very oceany, very wavy and this is just such a fun baby shower gift. 
Um, you can use that marker, like I said, to mark what how old the baby is, how many months there are. And it is really fun to you to have that coordinating vinyl, patterned vinyl and patterned HTV. You can see here that they look so well together. So what do you think? Pretty easy project, right? Not only is this an easy project, but it's pretty affordable too. Um, you can get these blankets on Amazon for like $10. Um, and as you can tell, we didn't use a whole lot of patterned HTV. Um, for projects like this, that is why I like to stock up on rolls of whatever color vinyls I use a lot. I use a lot of blacks and whites. Um, so whenever the rolls go on sale, 143 Vinyl has five foot and five yard rolls, but they have them on sale about once a month and I like to stock up um, or if there's sales on Amazon or an HTV that you like, I like to get those so that when I have projects like this, I can attach the larger pieces, which makes it a whole lot easier to put the projects together. Now, if you're short on HTV, um, let's say you only have a 12 by 12 sheet, you can totally um, have the numbers not be attached when you cut it and just have it print in one 12 by 12 sheet and you can get them all on the one sheet. But I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. I have linked in the description of this video a blog post with a written tutorial. So if you have any questions or if you want to reference back to that, you can. Also, if you have any questions that I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I have linked everything that we used in this description, in the description of this video. Um, so if you need uh, any of the supplies to make um, these fun milestone blankets, they're all there for you. But if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials. Have a great day.